Hi, I'm Tim Robel and this is Garage Customs. Today I'd like to take you through my process of the setup of the Hypertherm Power Max 65 and we're going to go ahead and hook that up to the Torchmate CNC table. In the manual, Hypertherm refers you to an electrician to wire up your machine. What I did was I made a trip to Home Depot and I bought the Levington 30 to 50 amp receptacle that's compatible with my plugs in my shop. Basically it's a four wire system here. You can see the little red wire down there. That was the one that you would use for a three phase operation. In a single phase operation you will do green as ground, black as L1, white as L2. Then I'll install the cover and torque it down evenly and we'll be good to go on the electrical. Now with the wiring complete to the back of the machine we have our on off switch on and off. On the upper right hand corner we have our CNC port our air input and then on the bottom this machine comes standard with the air water separator. I've ran a line around to the front and also ran an additional air water separators. So for wiring up the CNC port basically I got this cable that came with this little box here on and off and I ordered this as a CNC model from Harris Welding Supply. So I really didn't know exactly what to do with this but this is actually wired for pins 3 and 4 which is torch fire for your CNC operation. So basically what I did is I just came in here and I clipped off this wire so it's already set up for three and four and then this just simply plugs into the back of the machine screws in and then this runs down to our CNC controller to get the torch to fire. So I've taken the air regulator off the back and I've ran that forward and basically I've attached three of these small air water separators with one of the, like the motor guard type filters here and simply I installed the bracket right here picking up one of the standard holes and then I just use the sheet metal screw to tap in the other one and I attach it here. Now I've been told this isn't the best way to do things but it's what I've had and I have it working on the table and it's been working outstanding. Onto the front of the machine hooking up the torch is a snap basically just has this quick connect fitting, fitting and it just pushes in place and then remove you push down on the button and pull it out it's really a nice operation so we'll install that there and this is our ground lead and basically you just put this in it's one of the den type connectors and you give it a twist and everything locks down that's pretty simple now let me take you through the building of the machine torch basically I have my machine torch laying here and what we'll want to do is you'll want to take this first piece you want to screw this on all the way down you drop down your nozzle in there get that to fit and you'll drop your electrode down in and then you can just take this and attach this up in here and you're going to screw everything down now Basically I made the mistake and actually screwed this piece on first and then built everything in that and it didn't allow this to screw down right and it started bringing up uh, error codes so lesson learned there. Now we'll install the torch into the machine. For myself basically what I'm using is more of a hand torch operation for this and basically one full turn is sixty thousandths so I cut a notch out of it so the machine torch will actually fit and basically what I do is I run this down onto the piece of material and touch the piece of material then I lock it down now I run this back up sixty thousandths and now I know I'm exactly where I need to be to start cutting uh, my experience right now is on the little bit of thicker stuff I'm able to do sixty thousandths but most of the time I'm running about ninety thousandths up just because of material warpage. I don't have a auto torch height controller on this machine, I'm just manual mode. But I've been getting some very outstanding cuts. That's it for the setup of the Hypertherm PowerMax 65 hooked up to the Torchmade CNC table. Some of you may be wondering what happened to the other unit and why did you want to go to the Hypertherm? I still stand behind the other unit that I was using. It worked very, very well. It was just a nice entry-level machine that allowed me to get into the CNC cutting out of parts. As I was making a little bit of money, I was putting a little bit of money away to step up to what I'll call the industry standard for CNC, and that's Hypertherm. 
So basically that's kind of my story of why I went with the hypertherm. It gives me a little bit better cut quality. It gives me more capabilities. I can cut half inch on the table pretty easy with this machine. And with the fine cut consumables, I can do things that I can never do before with very intricate work and very little dross on the backside. So that's why I stepped up. Thank you for watching the Garage Customs Show. I'm Tim Robel, and I'll catch you here next time.